What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for another episode of Sci-Fi Wednesdays and our 1144 scale Bandai Lando Falcon. Today, I'm hoping to go ahead and move on with the internals. I want to go ahead and get more of the interior detailed up, work with some decals, do some panel liners. Then I want to go ahead and do some priming on the interior portion of the hull and just go ahead and get this thing a little bit closer to being finished. Now, this is an amazing kit, guys, I got to say. And so far, it's gone together beautifully. Last episode, we went ahead and put in all the side detail for the bottom part of the hole and we went ahead and drilled in a couple of holes here and there on the side and on the lower portion for fiber optics or at least the attempt of fiber optics a little bit later that's all well and good those look fine so i think we're looking pretty decent with the hole now for the internal section here for the living quarters that is all nicely gloss coated and we are ready to come in today and do a little bit of decaling and some panel liners i'm not really going to go ahead and do too much in terms of dirtying it up but i do want to use some to me a panel liner to pop the detail go ahead and show off a lot of the awesome looking interior now we also have the side walls the different bulkheads and all that and there are a few decals for those areas too so that's going to go ahead and take up a little bit of time then i want to go ahead and shift over to the gunner compartments there's actually an upper and a lower that needs to be painted and detailed now, you're not really going to see a lot of stuff in there through those very tiny windows so i'm not going to do too much work on that but i do want to go ahead and kind of get it generally painted so let's go ahead and jump into our time lapse for the day we're going to work on the decals we're going to work on the the interior parts of the lower part of the hole the upper part of the hole we'll start getting a lot of details already put in there work on the escape pod just start doing some stuff here and getting this thing a little bit closer to being finished let's get this thing going guys see what we can do
All right, everybody, we are back. And that went really, really well, guys. We've got the escape pod all built up. It's actually extra parts and pieces that go onto this, but that's only if you're going to display it on one of its own little stands. Now, I don't intend on doing that, so we're not going to put in the thrusters and the engines and all that stuff. We're just going to go ahead and leave it as is. And actually, it looks pretty cool. There is one little opening right in the front there that we could poke open and then maybe string some fiber optic or maybe put a little LED in there. But I don't really want to fool with that because it's not going to look like it does in the movie. It's not going to project any light. It's just going to kind of glow. So I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm going to leave the spotlight off. Now, the thing about the Falcon is that there are a ton of different recessed areas that we need to go ahead and put in a couple of little detail inserts. One of those is the very back portion of the upper hole, and there are these large vents of some sort that we can just snap right into place. And then there are other smaller little inserts that go all over the hole. So you can see here, there's a couple of openings. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of Tester's Liquid Cement, and we're just going to drop a little bit right here on the center portion of the panel. I don't want to pop that loose. Let me go ahead and start stringing things around. Now, for the escape pod, when everything Thing is all together, the escape pod should slide right into these front mandibles and should just lock into place. You can kind of get an idea just by setting it here and as you can see it looks kind of cool right about here that you get the general idea at least. It actually looks pretty streamlined, very sleek. I like it. Now let's go ahead and move over to the rest of the detail inserts guys. There's actually about four of them that we can just drop right into place. And the nice thing about this is that there's so much detail in this kit. When you look down through from the top of the hole into that little opening, you see wires and gears and all sorts of really nice looking crisp detail. So that is pretty awesome. We're also gonna go ahead and insert a couple of other details such as landing gear bay covers. And there's also this very large, somewhat like blaster deflector doors or whatnot on the engine. Maybe there's some form of like thrust vector I don't really know, but we're going to go ahead and put those in as well, at least for the upper part of the hole. So actually that looks pretty nice. I like how these are all kind of dropping into place. Now also with everything primed, we're going to be able to come back eventually and then string in the fiber optics. And I'm hoping that the primer, since it's pretty thick, it should hopefully help the light block the area. So we'll see when we get to that point. Now I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today, guys. I've got a lot of other stuff I can do, but I don't want to push it too far too fast. The idea here is I just kind of want to see how this goes together. And luckily for me, since most of this is snap tight, I can go ahead and come back a little bit later and pop most of these parts off if I want to go ahead and add any wiring or do any more detailing. Now on the bottom of the hole itself, we're going to go ahead and install the landing gear bay doors. Now I haven't found anywhere in the instructions that talk about landing struts, so I'm pretty sure we don't have any, but maybe they do and I just don't see them. I don't really know, but I want this in the flying pose anyway, so I'm not really too concerned about that. So we're just going to go ahead and put these doors on here and that's going to give us a pretty sleek, clean looking hole, especially with that front escape pod on there. This thing looks fast, guys. It really does. But that is it, guys. We are done for today. We've done a lot of work here on the Lando Falcon and so far, this is looking pretty nice. We've got the primer on the inside. We've got all the details nicely done there for the bulkheads. We worked a lot on that interior section and we've also of course pre-drilled all those holes for the fiber optics so eventually we'll figure that out and I think yeah we've got the detail inserts looking pretty sharp guys so until our next episode you guys know the drill go out there get yourself some bench time have some fun build something cool and we'll see you back here on the next episode of the Lando Falcon here on Sci-Fi Wednesdays thanks so much everybody we'll see you soon